Hi guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make your own jewelry organizers starting off with these gorgeous jewelry trays which are actually really nice gifts as well. All the materials that I use will be in the down bar so let's just jump right into it. So to get the marble effect, you're going to start off by rolling all of the clay into a snake shape and mine are about 4 to 5 inches. If you want your tray to be a solid, you can completely skip this step and just use one solid color but I just love the marble effect. So I'm just basically rolling all of my clay into the snake shape. From there, you're basically going to stack the clay on top of one another and just press together to ensure that everything sticks together and will blend together and start to twist. You guys, you're going to twist until your hands hurt and you want to get the clay twice the size that you originally started off with so you get that really pretty marble effect. Once you're done twisting your clay, you're going to just bend it in half, twist some more, like I said, you're going to twist till your hands hurt and then just roll it into a really pretty ball. From there, I'm going to roll my clay completely flat and you can really start to see that pretty marble effect. It starts to look so pretty. I love it so much. And to create that perfect round circle, I'm going to take um, a round Tupperware and just press it on the clay and that should give you a really pretty easy round circle. You just pop it out and right there you have a perfectly rounded clay. From there, I'm going to place my clay into a deep set bowl to help keep its shape and just pop it in the oven for I would say about 15 to 20 minutes depending on the instructions of your clay. And then when you take it out of the oven, I'm going to just let it cool off and then I like to go over the edges with a gold paint pen and I just really feel like this completes the clay and gives it like a really pretty, um, like a more expensive look but you can totally skip this step. And then I'm just going to add a tiny bit of glossy glaze and this is just going to finish off the tray. Again, you can skip this step, it's totally not necessary and you are all set. I just love how pretty these trays are and you can make so many at once and they're so fun to make as well. For the next jewelry organizer, I'm going to show you how to store all your dainty necklaces and this is actually really easy. You're just going to pop out the cardboard and the glass of an old picture frame and then completely cut off the back. Next, I'm going to just mark off using a ruler and a pen um, where the hooks are going to go. I'm keeping mine about an inch apart, but you can keep them together if you'd like. I just like mine more spaced out. And then you're going to just start to twist your hooks. I, I don't know what they're called, either C hooks or C cups or just regular hooks. You can find these at a hardware store or a dollar store and just hook them into place. And this is actually really easy to do. It doesn't require much work at all. And then just hang it on your wall and put on all your necklaces on the hooks and you are all set. I really hope you guys enjoyed these tutorials. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!